Hey guys, welcome to another episode of The Daily Holiday. Did you know that today is Freedom of Information Day? I certainly did not. I had no idea that this was a thing. What the heck does that even mean, Freedom of Information? How would you even celebrate that? Uh, it's on uh, James Madison's birthday, you know, important guy in the Constitution that celebrates our rights to, you know, the freedom of information. And that is definitely a very good thing because if it weren't free, that would suck. Uh, but yeah, freedom of information and, you know, how that affects us, well, that affects everyone. You know, what such seems like such a silly day to have a holiday for is actually really important and something that I think we take for granted. Uh, but I'm going to tell you more all about it. And here we go. Happy birthday, Mr. President. So, James Madison Jr. Who was he? Well, he was the fourth president of the United States, and he's also known as the father of our Constitution. You know, that's 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 a big that's big heavy stuff. Our pal James, he was a very loud voice in terms of making sure that the government uh, had no secrets from the people that the government was supposed to serve, and we all know that turned out great, you know, because it's not like the government ever keeps secrets from us, right? Yeah, it never happens. But anyway, so on uh, July 4th, 1966, you know, many, many years after James Madison had passed away, uh, the concept of the Freedom of Information, it was enacted, and it was declared that every person has the right to get information to federal agency records that are not protected by one of the nine exemptions or special law enforcement record exclusions. So that basically means that, you know, we have the right to get information. Very straightforward because, you know, whether it's something for a paper or just trying to make sure that, you know, maybe our politicians aren't screwing us over, you know, we have the right to information. And so, in terms of how you celebrate that, that, you know, I, I honestly, it doesn't sound like something that you'd really celebrate. You know, not something with, you know, balloons or a barbecue or anything, but, um, the Freedom of Information Day is celebrated like, by colleges of law and other organizations that they hold panels to provide information on the rights and freedoms that get because of the Freedom of Information Act. Um, so while this all sounds, you know, very boring, like something that you would just learn about in school and maybe not really pay too much attention to, you know, it is, you know, a very interesting fact and something that should not be taken for granted, you know, uh, and so if you want to celebrate it, you know, I guess look stuff up. Remember that knowledge is power, so the more knowledge you have, the more powerful you are. So that's the story. You know, if you want more information, which is legal for you to have, uh, you can just Google it, you know, since it's the, this is the day and age that we live in. You don't have to go all the way to the library to look this stuff up, you know, just go online, uh, Google it, you know, and happy freedom of information day, you know, woo. Uh, and that's all till next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Hope you liked the video and, uh, bye.